Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants, I'm back, guys, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, what's up, y'all, welcome back, guys, welcome back, got another great video for you guys today, as usual, you guys know the deal on this channel, it's all about setting the record straight, stopping the lies, stopping the narratives, stopping them from rewriting history, and in this video, I want to speak about Michael Jordan and his footwork on the baseline. You know, a lot of times, you know, these days, you know, a lot of people, they like to knock the past errors and they'll talk about, you know, quote unquote skills, right? They'll say, oh, the players today are more skilled, right? And they'll talk about their ball handling ability. They'll talk about their sh ability to shoot the basketball. And I laugh at this stuff because once again, they're trying to make it seem as if the players in the past could not dribble and shoot. But when we talk about players from the past, right, and we speak about Michael Jordan in this video, man, we talk about the fundamentals of Michael Jordan. We talk about the footwork, the quote-unquote footwork of Michael Jordan, man. Once again, the skills of Michael Jordan, they're second to none, guys. And we're going to talk about his footwork along the baseline in this video. Because the man, like I said, had fantastic fundamentals. And obviously, he had the fund of uh, the skills and the footwork to go along with those fundamentals, man. We're going to talk about this video. And I want to thank you guys, man, everyone across the world. Everyone across the states has been supporting my channel. Once again, guys, I am truly, truly humbled by all, all the love, man. It, it really means a lot, guys. All the support. Like I said, guys, truly humbling. Shout out to everybody in the membership. Uh, I want to send a special thanks out to my man, E.T. Kadu. Uh, once again, I hope I continue to say your name right. If I'm not, forgive me. But shout out to my man, E.T., coming through with the super thanks. I really appreciate it. I'm truly humbled by support. Uh, shout out to Gary, once again, coming through with the super thanks. You guys humble me with your donations, with the support, man. I know money is hard to come by. So shout out to all you guys, man. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, man, I wanted to speak briefly on Michael Jordan and his footwork along the baseline, man. Now, as you like I've said in the start, guys, you know, we hear a lot of people trying to tear down Michael Jordan in the, the past eras, whether it's the 80s or the 90s. And, you know, they'll try to say that the players today are much greater athletes. They're more skilled. Right. They're just better. They'll say, right. These guys are just better than the guys from the past. Right. The bigger, stronger, faster thing that they like to say a lot. But in reality, that's not the case. Are these guys today skilled? Absolutely. Are these guys today great athletes? Absolutely. But so were the guys in the past. And when we think about Michael Jordan, like I said, in the 90s era of NBA, the guys he was going against, man, these guys were highly skilled, but they had the fundamentals also to go with those skills. And once again, they were held to a higher standard when we think about the officiating of the 90s compared to the officiating today. It's not the same, guys. And there's no way that anyone, you know, like I said, who wants to be honest can say that the officiating today is on par with the officiating of the 90s. The guys are allowed to get away with a lot more in today's era. We all know that they call this every little ticky-tack foul now in this soft era of NBA. Meanwhile, back in the 90s, you could literally get clotheslined and it would be a common foul. A common foul, right? Today, you'd probably be suspended for several games if you did some of these common fouls that they did in the 90s. So once again, we must come to that reality. There was a different game. It was more physical, but those guys were still skilled. They had the fundamentals, more importantly, because today, with the relaxation of the officiating, like I just mentioned, and the softness of the NBA rules, these guys have fell, fallen back on the fundamentals. And this is why we laugh when they say the world has caught up to the NBA, to the USA, because that's not the case. The problem has been that the NBA, the Americans, the USA has regressed. We've gone backwards. We haven't pushed the game forward. And a, and a slip in the fundamentals exposes that idea. So when we think about Michael Jordan, I'm talking to you guys about Michael Jordan's ability, his footwork on the baseline. How many times or how many highlights have you seen of Michael Jordan doing his panted reverse layup, right? He goes up on one side and he comes up on the other side with the, with the other hand. Sometimes the same hand. It doesn't make a difference with Michael Jordan. He had the touch with the left or the right hand. He could switch it in midair or he could keep it on the same hand and finish on the other side. Remember, he had those giant hands which allowed him to manipulate the basketball in the air in ways that a lot of other players couldn't do. They just couldn't simply do it, Right. So when you think about Michael Jordan, you see him do those reverse layups. Oftentimes you see him tiptoeing the baseline, so to speak. They say Michael Jordan tiptoeing the baseline, right? Not stepping on the line and able to, like I said, use that footwork, those skills and come up and under onto the other side when Michael Jordan does these reverse layups. I mean, there are times where Michael Jordan catches the ball on the baseline. 
right? And he'll reverse pivot or something like that, or he'll turn and face up to the defender. And the man would hit a quick jab to the left and go right, or you know, hit a jab to the right and go left. And it looks like there's no room on that baseline. There's no room for this man to go. The defender's literally trying to trap him and force him into the baseline, trap him with the baseline. And somehow, some way, Michael Jordan is able to tiptoe his way, use that brilliant footwork, the skills, and get past these defensive players who are allowed to, remember, use the arms and the hands, the hand checking on him so they can essentially try to push him out of bounds. And Michael Jordan, once again, with the strength of Michael Jordan, stronger than a lot of people want to give him credit for. When you talk about pound for pound, Michael Jordan's frame, about 210 pounds, right? Michael Jordan was very strong pound for pound. So even though guys were allowed to use their physicality against these guys back in the day, they could use the forearms, they could use their hands, and they have Michael Jordan against the baseline, he was able to use his footwork and his strength to manipulate the baseline, stay in bounds. And make room for himself to come up and under on the other side or come up right up there on that side and finish with a dunk. I've seen Michael Jordan do this several, several times, guys. Once again, if you look at the highlights of Michael Jordan throughout his career and you see him use that baseline, once again, it's second to none. I'm not saying that Michael Jordan's the greatest footwork of all time. I'm not saying that Michael Jordan was the greatest at hitting the baseline and, and coming up and under, even though you can make the argument that he, he was. But the facts remain, and what I want people to understand is that these guys that played back in the day, these guys were skilled players. These guys were great athletes. And once again, these guys held on to the fundamentals of basketball. When we talk about things like boxing out, we talk about things like footwork, right? We talk about filling the lanes, right? These kinds of things, man, this goes to the fundamentals of the game. It goes to your IQ also. And Michael Jordan, once again, had the fundamentals and he had that footwork that we're always alluding to. You know, I've heard people try to say that, you know, this player is more skilled than Michael Jordan or this player is more skilled than Michael Jordan or this player had better footwork than Michael Jordan. And I laugh at this stuff, man. Once again, I'm not saying that Michael Jordan had the greatest footwork of all time, but to say that someone had greater footwork than Michael Jordan, to me, once again, how do you measure this? There's no metric to measure the footwork of a player versus another player. What you do is you watch the video footage. And in the video footage, it shows that Michael Jordan is a hell of an athlete. Probably the greatest athlete of all time as far as basketball goes. Just basketball, guys. Remember, he was, I tell you, he was built to play basketball. The perfect body, the hands, the quickness. I mean, the instincts, the jumping ability, the speed. I mean, my goodness, the, the ability to, to use both hands with touch. The mid-range game of Michael Jordan. The dunking ability of Michael Jordan. His ability to finish under the rim. I mean, all these things just lead you to believe that Michael Jordan was born to play basketball. His father wasn't six foot five or six foot six. And none of his parents played in the NBA. So he didn't have that soda, that pedigree, so to speak. But I told you guys, Michael Jordan was built for basketball. So when you talk about basketball and the athletes that played in the NBA in his history, you can argue Michael Jordan's the greatest athlete to ever play basketball. When you put all those things together. All those things together, along with his footwork, once again, the skills, Michael Jordan, once again, the footwork, second to none, but they'll sit there and tell you that, you know, this person had more skills than Michael Jordan, right? They always talk about Kyrie Irving, the most skilled offensive player. They'll say to me, Kyrie Irving's skills are not greater than Michael Jordan's. Once again, we're talking about overall skills in the basketball court. Kyrie Irving can't shine Michael Jordan's shoes, and Kyrie Irving has some great skills, some great footwork. Once again, when things get tight, where's Kyrie Irving? He's not Michael Jordan. So I don't like when they make these comparisons or they try to say flat out that someone had more skills than Michael Jordan. When you look at everything Michael Jordan could do on the court and in the air, let's not forget in the air, the skills of Michael Jordan in the air, the way that he was able to manipulate his body goes to his athleticism, goes to his overall skills, his overall greatness. No one could move in the air like Michael Jordan does or did. No one does. No one has. Since then, they haven't been able to. It's Michael Jordan's creativity that's unmatched, unmatched. So he took the Elgin Baylor, the Dr. J, and he made it his own, right? We get Dr. J from Elgin Baylor. We get Michael Jordan from Dr. J. But Michael Jordan was just different. He just moved different than those guys did. So I just wanted people to understand. And like I said, when you watch Michael Jordan, next time you see some hots of Michael Jordan, I want you to notice some of the manipulation that he does on that baseline. Once again, being hand-checked by players, people trying to force him out of bounds onto that baseline. But Michael Jordan, with the brilliant footwork, able to tiptoe the sidelines and once again, either go up strong or come underneath onto the other side with the patented reverse move that Michael Jordan did like no other player, man. You guys know the deal, man. This goes to the skills of Michael Jordan, man. The overall game of Michael Jordan. 
And once again, why Michael Jordan is considered the greatest offensive player of all time when you think about, like I said, the way he was able to manipulate that baseline. Oftentimes, like I said, man, no room there. It looks like there's no room, but he's able to tiptoe this thing and once again, like I said, manipulate his body and, and be effective at these things, man, and can do this consistently at a high level, man. That's Michael Jordan. Those are the skills, the fundamentals, the footwork of Michael Jordan. You guys know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.